guys. Today I thought that I'd do something a little out of the ordinary and that would be do a makeup tutorial. I love makeup, have loved makeup for a while, but I didn't start getting into makeup and really putting it all on my face until college. Um, you know, a lot of people experiment with makeup in high school and middle school, but I was never, su never super into makeup. My sister always was that kind of girl and um, she kind of got me in interested in it in the first place. I remember she did my makeup for my senior homecoming and she, I just felt really good and she taught me how to apply foundation and all that stuff and um, you know even looking back my mom I remember her asking me now whenever you're ready to start wearing makeup you just let me know and I'll help you and I was like okay a little bit embarrassed to say I want to now but um, over those next couple years, she taught me the basics and how to really apply things modestly and to embrace your beauty and just to enhance it whenever you feel like you want to. Um, but since then, I've really just taken tips and tricks from other people, um, such as my sister, my mom, and even working uh, with Unique Beauty, Chastity, and Heather, and Liz, and then teaching me what works good for my skin and uh, what enhances my natural features um, when I was involved with pageants. So a lot of the things that I'm going to be doing today are things that I learned from them, and then other things are things that I uh, figured out work best for myself and I love shimmer so I'm gonna put some shimmer on my face I don't know about you guys but I just like to have fun with makeup and I encourage all of you to do what feels right for you you don't have to wear a lot of makeup or concealer to be beautiful um, this is just something fun that girls get to do and um, I hope that today this isn't gonna be my everyday um, go-to makeup look my go-to moisturizer clinic so we'll get started with that so I've always had kind of a combination skin but sometimes I tend to get a little bit dry around my mouth and my nose this moisturizer is so nice. It's not super thick, but it's enough to last all day long. This is a wonderful primer. It's called Honey Do Me Up um, by NYX. And my sister actually got this for me, and I wanted to try it for so long, but a little bit goes a long way. You just kind of put it over your whole face. And it's so soothing. So it's kind of like a honey um, extract. And you just kind of just, you know, rub it in like you do with any other kind of primer. My foundation is Fit Me by Maybelline, and I love it. This shade's actually too dark for me right now. It's from the summer suntan earlier, but it's 320. I'll just start out by putting it on my hand, and I use a Physicians Formula Beauty Blender, and I love these. Um, kind of dab it all over your face. Um, I like this foundation because it's not super thick. It's not cakey at all, um, and blends in well and doesn't settle in any fine lines you may have. Now you may think, oh, we're young, we don't get fine lines. Well, I'm a smiley person. I laugh a whole lot. <laughs> uh, so I have fine lines around my mouth. I'm not ashamed of it. I think that's something to be proud of when you smile a lot. But yeah, since this is totally the wrong shade, I'm gonna definitely have to blend it out all the way down my neck. <laughs> um, so yeah, just bear with me. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this loose setting powder. Um, it's by Black Radiance and I think it works good for any skin tone it's just a nice um, kind of it's a little bit tinted I don't know not super tinted uh, setting powder it kind of looks like a banana powder to me and I love banana powder so I'll just kind of press it into my skin because I don't want to look super cakey how many of you guys have robes like these from being in a wedding <laughs> I got this beautiful robe from my sweet friend Lauren Johnson Stone now. Uh, she had a beautiful wedding, but I love these robes. I'm going to get with the bronzer. This smells like coconuts. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. Don't eat it, guys. It smells like dessert. Um, but I just suck in my cheeks and do a little angle there. Straight down. And then I just kind of go up, up and out. Just take a line down both sides of my nose. And then just brush across the temple and the forehead. Sometimes I'll take a little bit around my jawline to give some definition there. Okay, that's enough of that. Then, I forgot I will do this. Now, I got, my mom ordered these for Christmas for me. Uh, it's a big package of brushes. Um, it came in a lot more than this, but this is what most of them look like. And they're called Emacs Design. You can get them on Amazon. They're in a velvet orange 
drawstring bag. Love them. They're amazing. I have two bags of them. <laughs> but I like this round one because I feel like it smooths out the harsh lines that I made with that other brush. And then bring down all that bronzer. <laughs> bring down all that bronzer I uh, used on the edge of my jawline. Okay, now I'm going to go in with some blush. Now these are my two favorite uh, palettes. Okay, you can see that one's all gone. But this is the Elf Blush Palette. This is also a really pretty blush. I got this at Ulta in a sample package, so this was free. This one's called Subtle Blush. Don't know what shade it is, but it's beautiful and it's got some shimmer to it. Um, so I'll probably use this one. And I, again, I use the Emacs Design Blush Brush. Kabuki brush. I love the tiny kabuki brush. This is fun. I like doing this. Brush across your nose and your chin. Kind of gives some lively color to your face. And actually I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. blush too. I'm just doing a little bit of tap and then get the excess off. Yeah, that's some more color. I love blush. so funny to watch other people do their makeup and see the quirky little things they do uh, as a part of their routine. Y'all, Some of y'all are probably like, what is she doing? I do not do that like that or that's silly. So next, I'm going to, I didn't even bring it over here. Let me get it. This is also a unique beauty palette. As you can see, I've used a ton. This was my favorite shade, but I dropped it and it all crumbled out and I was devastated. A tear may have been shed, a <laughs> tear or two. Um, but I'm gonna use this blending, um, what you got, crease brush. And I'm gonna use this, it's kind of a light medium brown shade. And I'm just gonna go in, kind of tilt it here in the crease, actually on my brow bone. You're just gonna go swish, 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 swish. Say it with me guys, swish, 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 swish. Now I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. crease brush and um, Walmart has e.l.f. you guys know this. I'm going to go in with this dark brown shade and I'm just going to go right in the crease. Just back and forth. I'm going to do this eye. This just really gives some definition. It opens up your eye. Um, now I'm going to mix that dark brown and this kind of brick brown this one and just bring it underneath my eye because I'm not going to do a whole lot of liner here. I'm going to take, oh I love this stuff, this is Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art and I've had this for a little while. But I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger and just dab it on my eye and I kind of bring it into the corner too. Now. I'm gonna use this. This actually came from TJ Maxx. I don't know what company it is. Actually, it's Paris Hilton. <laughs> Excuse me. This is a highlight palette, but I actually like to use this shade for my brow bone um, shade. And I actually use this NYX um, primer spray um, to spray the color and make it more pigmented. So that's a little tip if you guys didn't know that. And I use this angled brush by Emax Designs. And I just brush it across my brow bone, like right underneath my eyebrow, and kind of just, you know, it makes your eye pop. Do you guys like this? Sometimes when you don't have anything going on, just put on a full face of makeup just to occupy your time with. I don't do that a lot, but hey, I've done it. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> now, I'm going to take my highlighter, which is MAC. Show gold and it is gold. It is pure gold. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Let me see if you guys can see this. Oh uh, man, it's not doing it justice. I'll have to show you in the light in just a minute. Um, oh, it's fabulous. Now, sometimes I'll spray this too to give it an extra shimmer. And then put it on the tip of your and the bridge of your nose. <laughs> and then I put it in my cupid's bow. Under my lip. 
And don't you think I forgot the eyebrows, girls? Because I have it. Now, I'm gonna be blending all of this out. Brighten this up a little. Blending all of this together because we don't want our shimmer to go evil spoken of. <laughs> and next come the brows. Okay, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take this e.l.f. gel brow palette and I'm gonna use the Emacs angled um, brush. Perfect for this. Now so going with the dark gel, because I have dark brows. Um, and I'm just going to Start at the bottom edge of my eyebrow and swipe up, brush up. Then I'm going to use this. It's a CoverGirl Dark. Um, it actually may be Maybelline. I can't remember, but these packages are not hard to miss. I think it's CoverGirl. And it's a dark shade. I just use it to kind of fill in any gaps in my brows. I just kind of finish it out like that. My first mascara ever was the pink and green tube. Everybody knows what that one is. Um, but then after that, I kind of upgraded to L'Oreal Voluminous, and I love it. And it's really good at lengthening your lashes, but they make them so long that they kind of drop a little. So this, Scandalize, um, Ramel Scandalize. Oh, it's amazing. Try it if you have it. Um, it curls like no other. Okay, the best way to apply mascara is to start at the edge of your lash line, close your eye, and shimmy it up. And it straightens them out, makes them all long and fluffy. A trick I like to do um, when doing my eye makeup is to put a little white liner in my waterline, my lower waterline, and it really just brightens up your eye. I don't know if you guys, when you watch old movie, I love TCM. <laughs> Breakfast at Tiffany's. I love TCM, old classic Hollywood movies. And when Technicolor came into the game, it always looked like, I don't know if they did it, or if it was just the way the color looked on screen, but all the actors and actresses looked like they had really bright, wide, white eyes. It's beautiful. And um, this kind of gives that finishing look, in my opinion. What makes you guys feel good about yourself? It might not be makeup. Maybe it's wearing a dress or doing your hair a certain way or... Maybe it's, it's just a disposition. Maybe it's not even putting anything on your hair or your face. I want to know. What makes you feel good most like yourself? Also, I got to tell you, you can put as much makeup as you want on your face. But if you don't have a kind spirit, that's not going to showcase anything. We're more than a canvas. We're a soul. And we got to shine some light. You guys are beautiful, but your heart's even more beautiful. I know we just got real deep, but I just felt like I needed to say that. This is all temporary. This is a shell, so it's fun to decorate our shell. I don't know if you've ever had your hermit crab <laughs> from the beach or something, but uh, you can decorate them, paint them. Yeah, that's pretty, but he's on the inside. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but this is an elf lipstick and it's really good. I got it one time because I totally left my lipstick at home and I needed some. So I went to CVS and got it and it's the shade Ravishing Rose. Okay now this gloss is amazing. Estee Lauder. I got this pure color lip and cheek summer glow stick and it's called Sunburst. And this is what I use on my skin whenever I'm not wearing makeup and this just gives you a nice little shimmery glow. And it smells like vanilla and cookies. But this is the lip gloss at the bottom. Okay, I think I'm done with this, guys. Okay, so as you can see, it's very natural. The butter bronzer is really good for giving that definition. And then I love the highlighter. It's kind of got a pink iridescent shimmer to it. And um, uh, yeah, I'm just excited about it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful for some of you. And like I said, I look forward to hearing what products you guys use and what makes you feel beautiful. Tell me, I wanna know, because I wanna start doing more videos where we talk about lifestyle things. And um, I wanna encourage you guys and every way of life. For young women, it's hard to feel good in your skin and makeup is fun. It's a good way to uh, feel beautiful, but also I want you to know that you're beautiful in here and I want to know what makes you feel most like yourself and let's talk about that next time. Thanks so much for tuning in. See you next time.